Okay, so we're going to have a look at uh, how we can encrypt and hash and sign within uh, JavaScript. So we can either run JavaScript in the browser uh, where we can integrate uh, our JavaScript directly into the HTML code, or we could run JavaScript as a backend, as backend code. For that, we use Node.js. In this case, we'll just use a standard Java uh, integration using Java uh, Crypto JS. With this, uh, we can download from Google the uh, Crypto JS. Uh, libraries and I've placed them in the scripts md5 uh, folder here. If you're interested and then just have a look at the code and you should be able to see the uh, JavaScript code. Okay so here they are here and there's the md5 JavaScript integration there okay so you integrate the uh, JavaScript that you require for the required functions that you want to add after that it's fairly simple we can just add our JavaScript code into there and I've added it in terms of a number of functions so we can see here we have a number of functions that are called whenever we press a button. Okay, so each one is a function here. And then we'll see down here, I've got a number of buttons, and then I've got an on-click event, and it will call up the, uh, the uh, function here and pass a value into it. Okay, so the, the, the encryption uh, and the cryptography methods split roughly into four different functions. A hashing method where we can take uh, some data and then create a hash signature for it. Some block ciphers such as AES and 3DES. There are different modes to AES. ECB is the most basic. Then we have CBC, C CFB, counter and OFB. We can also have stream encryption, such as Rabbit and RC4. Stream encryption is typically faster and more immune to site channel attacks than uh, block encryption. And then we have HMAC, where we take a hash, but we also have a secret uh, pass phrase that is used as the key to create the hash signature. So what we're going to do is, is look at the integration of this within our code. We'll take a simple input here of uh, hello and we'll just do our simple hash. So in the first case we're using MD5 which produces a 128-bit hash. So there it is there. So what we need to do is to be able to check that that's the right uh, value. So for that we can use OpenSSL so we're taking the input of hello and we want to create an MD5 signature. So we should see 8B1 at the start and then that's correct. Okay, so open SSL is giving us the same as our uh, function, as our JavaScript integration. So the code itself is fairly simple. It is here. Uh, we take, uh, we basically just uh, take our string, pass it into crypto.js object, and then the md5 method to create our digest. And then we show it as a hex value, and then also the base64 value. Okay, so that works fine. We'll try now the SHA-1. And we can see this time we get F7. So again, we'll try here. And we see F7, FF. So this one works too. We'll try RIP uh, EM160. And 
for this we will put a minus rip emd160 and we can see that we get d4 d44 that's the correct answer okay so it looks like our hash functions are all okay unfortunately OpenSSL doesn't do the SHA3 uh, hash signature so the next thing we'll do is we'll do uh, AES CBC so with uh, AES CBC just reload that that's cipher block chaining we will encrypt and in this case we get this is our cipher here so now what we'll have to do is that uh, we'll have to now uh, take our IV value and our salt value and then see if we can get the same result with uh, open SSL okay so uh, let's take this one here so we're using CBC and we'll take our salt value so the salt value is here and we use the minus s option for that we now have an initialization vector which has been randomly created for us and that's that there that in and we're using the passphrase of QWERTY and we can see here the answer is correct for our cipher so we see here our cipher and we get the same okay so you've got to remember to use the salt value and also the IV value and the passphrase to be able to give the same uh, value Oops, sorry. Uh, let me just modify. So we, we can't do it on the file. We need to do it on data. So just let me make one little modification because that wasn't the right value there. So we'll echo no new line hello to them. Okay, so this, this one should work now. So we're taking hello. Uh, and no new lines. We're feeding it into uh, OpenSSL with the right uh, salt value and with the right IV value. So it won't work with a file because files have extra characters in them. So now when we try it, we do get the right answer. Okay, so this cipher here is the same as the cipher we see here. Okay. So watch what you're doing when you when you have the end file is different from when you're encrypting a string. So in this case, I took the string hello and I fed it into OpenSSL and I get the right answer if I use the right salt and the right IV value. So you see it didn't work when I used a file because the file has extra characters in it. Okay, so now we'll try for HMAC. So just let me reload that. Okay, so now with uh, HMAC MD5, what we're doing is we're taking the hash of hello and then we're uh, adding in a, 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 a password of QWERTY and we get this hex value. Okay, so, so let's try that with OpenSSL. And here's the command here. Okay, so it's MD5 and we're taking the HMAC with QWERTY 
and the value we get is 7f4 7f4 okay so that that works okay so you can see here uh, it's always useful to be able to uh, check the bar the results that you get against something like open SSL which should give the correct answer there are other cipher modes that we can actually use uh, and each of these should be supported with inside open SSL uh, it's just a matter of changing uh, this part in here making sure that you have the correct initialization vector in salt okay thank you